We're here in New York City. I'm here to get pizza for free, but I spent like probably a hundred some bucks getting here, so pizza. This is the world's largest pizza party in New York, an event created by the YouTuber Eric as his celebration for hitting 10 million subscribers. <laughs> It was a disaster. <laughs> Eric announced two of these events in his 10 million subscriber special, with the first being in NYC and the second in LA. And since I had nothing better to do, I asked my friends Joe and Cole to accompany me on a day trip to New York for this event. And they agreed to tag along only if I did the one chip challenge, so I, I did regrettably. Wow. This sucks. How we doing, John? Worst part is, is the whole mouth. He's going into the sink. Dude, this is so painful. How my tongue look? and they agreed to tag along. So we woke up at 6.30 in the morning of the event and took a three hour drive to the city, arriving at the line around 10 a.m. The event was scheduled to start at noon. Now I had learned my lesson from the Mr. Beast event. So when I got there, I was number 95 in line, which I only knew because they gave out tickets to the first 100 people. If you were in the first 100 that got tickets, this was your guarantee that you would get a slice of pizza. And we just barely snuck in. Yeah. Thank you. But this ticket system would be the first major point of contention. Oh shit, this one. 12 o'clock, yes, people are going crazy. By noon, the line had wrapped completely around the block and people were cutting in line like crazy. Where is Eric? <laughs> yeah, where? I need Eric. There were hundreds of people packed into the 20 degree New York sidewalk in front of us and the majority of them had cut because there were only a hundred of us to begin with. Now, this is one reason that I personally was glad about the ticket system. It is currently 1250. Mayhem is breaking out. A lot of people <laughs> broke into line, but we got the tickets. We got the tickets, bro. 26 for 92, you tell me. Since we have tickets, we're valid. Other people who had cut in line and the people that were behind me that didn't make the cutoff were not so happy. Again, if you don't have a ticket, guys, you guys have to make the line. Once Arak finally arrived, that's when things started to get really crazy. Is that them? Yeah, yeah it's probably them. Yeah, it's yeah. It's it. Oh, well, they're, they're up there somewhere. Security was forcing people away, and if the crowd didn't stop blocking the sidewalk, there were threats that the event would just get canceled completely. You can tell them to get off your property. Yeah, but they hit me. Okay, but they're on your property. It's a mess. We had to swim through a sea of people just to get back to our rightful place in line. Number on it. 92, 93, 94. 95. But after another hour of waiting, people realized that they needed a ticket to enter, and the crowd somewhat began to dissipate as we made our way into the actual venue to finally receive our pizza. We're in it now, baby. He's got the YouTube plaques. I got one of those. And it was from Pizza Hut. The event was sponsored by Pizza Hut, but come on, Eric. You're in New York, the home of good pizza, the home of Gabagool. You're giving me Pizza Hut, hey, what, what are you doing? Anyway, inside there was a cool display with all of Eric's play buttons and other cool, like, channel memorabilia. The diamond play button heist. Someone steals it. And at the back of the room, Arak himself was taking pictures with everyone coming through the line. Now, my friend Joe was familiar with him, but Cole had no idea who Arak even was. So we had a brilliant plan. When we went to get the actual picture, I pointed at Cole and casually said, yeah, this guy has no idea who you are. And Cole goes, yeah, I don't. I'm gonna have to ask you something after we get this picture. So we get the picture. Cole says, I'm gonna be honest with you. We've been waiting in line for a while. <laughs> And he was about to tell Cole where the bathroom was, only for the people in charge of the line to say, no bathroom, as they like pushed us along. And there was a merch stand where I bought a hat. And that was it. Three hours of waiting, then in and out for Pizza Hut pizza. Now, to be fair, my complaints with the actual insight, it's nitpicks. They have to get people through the line. The issues at this event had little to do with the actual staff. They did their best to keep things orderly and moving, and there are a lot of moving parts in something like this. So I guarantee it was extremely stressful for everyone involved. And there was a documentary of the Mr. Beast Burger launch by Colin and Samir that really showed off the behind the scenes of an event like this. So I don't blame Arak or his staff or anyone involved for how this event turned out because they did their best at the end of the day. The real problem was the people. Surrounding this event in the hours leading up to it, YouTubers, TikTokers, Instagram influencers, all of them wanted a piece of the pie in more ways than one. Eric's content requires a lot of people to work. And as such, a lot of people that he's featured in his videos have been able to grow channels of their own. So everybody who wants to be a YouTuber had the vlog cam out and was filming every second of it. As soon as there was a loud noise somewhere, people with cameras would flock to it, trying to like eat up as much content as they could for their video. Everyone's getting so hyped. And there, they see the noise, they zoom in. You just see you just see more cameras appear from the mist. The second 
that there is any noise. It's just a swarm. And to an extent, I was admittedly there to do the same thing. But I was more curious about the experience itself rather than the spectacle of it or the prospect of meeting another YouTuber. So I kept myself pretty low key as I went through the line. There were people with cameras everywhere and I felt like the meme of like, they don't know I'm a niche internet micro celebrity. But to see why people were really there, I went through the line and I asked them. I see the camera, I see the camera. Yeah. So like, what, what, are you, what what's your real goal? What's the real motive deep down? What, what are you trying to do? <laughs> oh, that's a great question. <laughs> so I filmed for ARAC in LA like a year ago. And so I want to just say hi and I'm meeting up with some of his friends after. So that'd be cool, yeah. yeah we're doing a YouTube channel. We're actually uh, gonna pitch ARAC a business a business we have and see what his reaction is. What brings you guys here today? Well, oh, Eric, obviously. <laughs> yeah, and food. We like food. All right, what, what what do you care about more here? Are you here for the pizza or are you here for the clout? For the pizza, man. Yeah, yeah. Pizza. I'm mostly here to show how much better what? New York is than Los Angeles. West coasters stay seething. So what, what brings you here today? Arax Pizza Party. Are you here for the pizza or something else? I'm here for something else. And, and what is that something else? To meet him. And, and why, why do you want to meet him? Content. Be views. Views? Views? <laughs> Everyone wants clout. That is the real answer. <laughs> But a lot of people here, they didn't care about the pizza. They were here for Eric. They were here to make the video. Now, most of them were just there as fans, but a lot wanted to use this event as an opportunity to kickstart their channel, which some advice from someone who was able to do just that recently, just make anything and do it consistently. You don't need to go to events like this and like follow other YouTubers to get your chance. Just be original, that, that's it. Just be unique. But everywhere you went, there were vloggers, there was a guy trying to pitch a business. A lot of people were just trying to capitalize on the event itself. I also ran into Nick, who I met at the Mr. Beast Burger event, which was really funny. Oh. <laughs> of course. This is the second time that I've gone to New York to see a YouTuber in a food-related event, and you were there both times. We literally said, Nick goes, Metro Johnny Ray's here? I'm like, yeah, you never know. And Nick goes, no way. Like, Bro, come here. Like, what do we got? 10 million giant candy pizza for Aaron. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful. So in it because it's so cold. But a lot of the aspiring content creators there, they didn't care about anything other than their own video. There were multiple people just shoving cameras in people's faces without even asking. There was one kid who tried to like instigate as much drama as possible and gaslight people for no reason. And as I was trying to interview the normal people in line, other people would just jump in and like insert themselves into the interaction, hoping to get as much clout as possible. Nah. What's up? I got interview jacked. Do we just go? Do we just leave? Yeah, let's, let's just go. <laughs> what brings you here today? I want to see Eric. Why do you want to see Eric? Well, I've been watching him for a while. He's one of my favorite yeah, he's funny. And why is that? Why is that? What do you like about him? He's really creative and unique. Yeah, and he's really funny. Oh, and you guys are hopping in. What's up? What's up, man? How, how are you doing? What, what brings you here today? We're here for the anime convention. Yeah. Oh, is it an anime convention? Well, that's yeah, sick. Yeah, we're here for anime convention. Oh, where's that at? Right here, no? I don't know. I'm getting, I'm getting gaslit right now. You're getting gaslit? What, is that, what does that mean? I, I made it up. I'm, I'm just trying to see what people are really here for. It's a lot I'm of people. For, I'm here for anime. Guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a big anime guy. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. You watch, uh, you watch Chainsaw Man? <laughs> I'm, I'm getting gaslit hard. Let's go. <laughs> As people started to realize that you needed a ticket to get in, one guy pointed at my group with a camera shoved in one of my friend's faces. He screamed that one of us stole his ticket and wanted to fight us for it. Like, it, it was a mess. There was no thought about what the other person was doing. It didn't matter to them if you were just chilling, having a conversation. But as always, there was a silver lining to this whole event. When we got in line and when we waited for three hours, we started talking to the people in front of us who were absolute G's and probably some of the most genuine people there. Something about standing in a line in the cold must really force people to socialize more because we like instantly formed a group with them and even planned to meet up in the future to just hang out. I also got recognized a couple times, which is still hysterical for me. What do you guys do on YouTube? I do uh, bad ideas for things. Bad I, ideas? That's you. Yeah. That's why you're here. Oh my God, <laughs> Could you sign my dollar, please? I will sign your dollar. Thank you. Worth it enough to lose there his face of Thank mine. you. This is the first autograph that I've given. Let this be a moment in history. <laughs> It won't be the last. But that was the Arak pizza party. Hopefully when they do it in LA, they'll figure out a better way to manage people. And it'll probably be a little warmer too. But it is in LA, so there's probably gonna be like 10 times more clout chasers. So Arak, if you're watching, just try to organize them a little better. But with that being said, I hope to see you in the next one. And then I phase out of existence.